Hey, it's Christina with the Sisyphean Journal. I'm waiting in line to get into the Vance rally here in Johnstown, PA, and I've been thinking about his messaging, and I thought about the Amber Thurman death in Georgia and the Alyana Dixon death in Nevada. And here we have two cases where abortions were initiated in a licensed facility, but then they just send the woman home to finish it on her own, knowing that death is a possible complication. And they're sending them out without any um, plans for aftercare. And I think that if the abortion rights movement cares so much about women's lives, they need to be pushing for these facilities to be very clear about what the aftercare is. Are they um, coordinating with somebody in the woman's home area and saying, look, you need to go to such and such hospital because they know how to treat abortion pill complications? Or here's some materials to bring to your doctor if you're suffering complications because he might not be expert on how to treat this. So I think we need to be holding them a little bit more resp responsible. I think what they're doing with these abortion pills is on a par with what the abortionists were doing in New York between legalization there and um, when there was a little bit of clamp down after so many women's deaths where they were doing outpatient saline abortions. Just injecting them with this dangerous chemical that they know might cause the woman's death and then just sending her home to deal with it on her own. This is totally irresponsible. I think the pro-lifers need to hold the pro-abortion people's feet to the fire and say, you should not be dispensing these drugs if you aren't sure that the woman in question has adequate follow-up set up in her home area.